All right, here goes. Cooking best recipes. My grandma makes this every day. I have to cook this for my husband three times per week. My family could eat this every day and so on and so forth. Oh, and in a multitude of languages, the same concept, the same massive amount of views after a very short period of time, but very rarely comments in the language that the video titles and channel names have. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. Life hacks, craft hacks, etc, etc, the topics are endless. And now you're asking yourself, what has this got to do with orchids? Good question. Let me answer that and get it off my chest. It has been bugging me for years. And thank you for being here and listening to me rant away. <laughs> After a few years of watching these channels appear in my recommendations, seeing the massive amount of views these kinds of videos accumulate in a short period of hours, checking the comments, not seeing much of the language that the channel name uses, and well, seeing the channel's locations from all over the world, the United States, Germany, Russia, to Albania, to Portuguese, Spanish, sometimes Arabic, Vietnam, Cambodia, Romania, the globe, so to speak, Going to the about section, I have come to the conclusion that there are corporations out there that have figured out YouTube's algorithm and are rolling with it, targeting everything under the sun that promises success, immediate and miracle results every time, but more often than not, everything they show is bogus. Maybe not so much in the category of life hacks or craft hacks if you can figure out the steps they cut out when they show the end result as to why their video demonstrates truth. But many times the editing shows results that did not come about because of their hack. Recipes or cooking is something that can be easily replicated in the kitchen, but the thumbnails talk about only two ingredients and then when you watch the video, you see that you actually need more ingredients compared to what the thumbnail promises. But when it comes to orchids, these kinds of videos and the numerous number of them popping up have my blood boiling. I don't want to lose my cool while talking about this, but I do want to start the conversation as to YouTube's terms of service being violated with their promises when it comes to orchids and other plant-related videos with, yet again, other channel names and all the buzzwords in their titles promising that a rose hip will grow roots if you follow these steps. Yes, such videos exist, and if you don't believe me and you have not had these kinds of videos pop up in your recommendations, then consider yourself lucky. You will not have wasted 8 to 15 minutes of your life watching videos that promise ridiculous miracles fast growth, orchids that bloom constantly, roots that grow really fast from an orchid with stem rot, or seeing roots grow from a mango branch cutting placed into a papaya while the fruit was still on the papaya tree itself, I kid you not. Meanwhile, the thumbnail shows watermelons on a papaya tree talking about mango cuttings, and if you're still not finding this ridiculous and wondering why videos like these get millions of views within a month, how about using turmeric, coconut water, potatoes, whole banana, eggshells, and bread, yes, you heard me, bread, that promise your rootless orchid to grow new roots and proclaim it's a miracle. The production is the same. They start out with something that looks patético, then there is some background music as they try to make sure to fill the time to 8 minutes and over, some manhandling or cleaning of roots which takes time, and then the application of whichever miracle ingredient of choice based on the video, oh, beetroot as well, stirring where needed, application to the orchid is demonstrated and all that fun stuff, and to fill in more time, they add footage of blooms that, if you see the different videos often enough, is the same footage of blooms repeated in other videos, after which they cut the miracle end result and ta-da! The dying orchid is revived, has roots or massive amounts of blooms, or whatever it was they were proclaiming in the title of the video. 
Meanwhile, there is little to no commentary, but some have now got their commentary. They speak so low you cannot hear what they are saying, but that would not matter because while the title of the videos are in English, the commentary is local. If you're lucky, there is a translation edited into the video. Not a transcript, but a manually edited translation that is so small to read you need a magnifying glass in order to be able to read it. But to be honest and to be fair, these translations when offered are not necessary because what you are being sold during the video is easy to understand. If the ingredients for the Miracle Root Potion is a powder and water, then what you see is an approximate amount of water being poured into a receptacle, a spoon of whatever the ingredient is being added to the water, and then you're blessed with some stirring, after which the water is strained, should the ingredient be a little bit grainy, and then the orchid gets watered, and hey presto, I'll be darned luscious root tips in the next reveal footage, or lo and behold, the orchid is blooming on multiple spikes with branching coming out of the wazoo. Having seen all that, yes, I am absolutely totally convinced, and I am so ready to repeat that for my collection. Not. Oh, this feels good. Meanwhile, let me tell you something. I have been watching these videos, observing, trying to gather some information with regards to the video I'm doing now, expressing my frustration, and debunking these videos. So, <laughs> If you're so far with me on this topic, please give this video a like because I am so ready to delete the garbage off of my computer that I have been accumulating over the past months and then I want to be able to say block to every single one of these channels. I want to be able to remove them out of my recommendation. So, goodness me, help me with a like. <laughs> if you agree and if you disagree, a dislike is fine, I understand. But I have been researching this garbage, especially on videos for the past months. But prior to that, couple of years in, I've been researching more stuff. I'll tell you about it just now. But oh my goodness, this feels great to get it out of my system and out of my actual computer system as well. Anyway, I am not convinced at all. I'm not going to do what I'm being told based on these miracle videos. Anyway. The screenshots I have gathered over the past months have been tough to document because, as mentioned at the beginning of this video, this kind of information makes my blood boil and it goes directly against YouTube's terms of service of spreading misinformation. Now, you may say that I'm being petty and I agree with you. Absolutely, yes I am. You may also say you're just jealous because your channel is not getting this amount of attention. And I will say, yes, absolutely, you are right. I am jealous. I want my channel to grow for many, many reasons. But while I am working on growing my channel, it annoys me to no end that channels that spread false information that misinform the consumer without any shame in their game get the traction that channels like mine do not. Channels that have valid content, true advice, based on experience, channels that do not sell snake oil in their videos, they stand little chance against these kinds of channels that have a huge conglomerate behind them, making it possible to crank out the misinformation videos on all topics that they possibly can using the same concept but going through all kinds of plants. Now, orchids included, and it is one channel after the other that is popping up. Stick with the cooking, do your life hacks, do whatever you want. I have no issue with that. I can block and never see those channels on my recommendations ever again. Come into orchid territory and that is where I have a problem. Not because I'm trying to be competition, but because of the misinformation. So here we go. When you look at whether channels are registered well, it is another eye-opener, so why am I bothering to make a video about it? It's not as if I can do anything to stop it from happening. Well, YouTube is about opining, as well as tutorials and other fabulous things that we can capture and make videos out of, and I have an opinion about these channels. I know what they're doing. It's not just the buzzwords. It's not about the misinformation. But... Even if I were to emulate what they are doing with the exception of delivering incorrect information, I do not have the budget for the bots that make this a reality for these kinds of channels. They rake in a tremendous amount of money from YouTube. For example, 
And this is just a guess on my part, but it could be very realistically a kind of structure with which they are working. So, for example, take a corporation that only has 10 channels, just to throw a number out there, with a set of topics that they are rinsing and repeating in form of videos. They need an exponential amount of views for a single video to get YouTube's algorithm's attention. Enter their budget for bots for views, comments, likes, and watch time, the next video, and the next video, and the next video, same thing. Bots for the comments, for the subscribers, for the views, and watch time. Because... YouTube goes by engagement, and if these videos have an exponential number of comments under the video, then the channel holder gives a random like or reply, it adds to the watch time, and the purchase of the subscribers goes hand in hand. The package is complete. Suddenly, these videos go into the algorithm and get recommended, and Bob's your uncle. Now, they get normal subscribers as well. And the budget for the bots becomes a fraction of what they pay out to get that done, compared to what they get paid from YouTube. It's still a lot of money, but not for these conglomerates. This way, the conglomerates are raking in millions based on the number of channels across a variety of topics of interest they have fished out from the YouTube's most popular trending videos, and those that film the footage for these videos get a little something-something for their efforts, hopefully, Maybe they are employed or reimbursed depending on what the agreement between those that make videos and hand over the material to the editors of the conglomerates are. At least I hope they get something and it's not a form of exploitation. Anyway, because of the system and the setup, channels like mine do not stand a chance to make a dent into the misinformation that these conglomerates put out. And YouTube's algorithm needs a massive shakeup once again to eliminate these kinds of shenanigans. Because never mind that the terms of service are being breached because of misinformation, they are costing YouTube a fortune because of the money being paid out to these conglomerates. Channels with solid and true information are being drowned out, and yes, I have a problem with that. And yes, it's personal. <laughs> I have seen videos of installations just for the category of cooking hacks or recipes where the operation is located in something akin to a huge warehouse. These vast spaces are divided into separate booths, two people per booth, one above angle view camera filming whatever the person is doing, and one person with a handheld device for other angle shots of whatever is being filmed. Every booth is filming something different, and the editing is done on site for a multitude of channels, not all for the same channel. The channel holders are the conglomerates. So, while these booths are for cooking, within the same space there are booths for lifestyle hacks, crafts, etc. The conglomerate runs the channels and hires people to film. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that concept. Clearly, it's working for them. The crafts can be useful, maybe they're fun, maybe they're bogus. I don't know. I'm not into that stuff. But now we are delving into the plant category and the videos are not of the highest quality filming wise. Also, some are now showing up where filming is outdoors. And when the big reveal happens, the result of what they are selling as a miracle in their title of the video, the exposure drops and you cannot clearly see what is going on until they cut to the next shot by which time they have changed the plants out, and that would include orchids. It is so frustrating. But again, they figured the algorithm out. Kudos to them, and YouTube is none the wiser. Now you may say, so what, don't watch. Are these conglomerates with these kind of channels and this kind of misinformation hurting anyone by doing this? Are they exploiting those that do the filming for them? I have no idea. The installation that I saw was clean, people were nicely dressed and cranking out content as if their life depended on it. I did not see anything in there that would make me think anyone was being forced to work, doing what they're doing. But what I am seeing more recently with the outdoor shots and lighting, etc., something is not quite right. I will not accuse anyone of exploiting anyone to do what we see in these videos. My gripe is with YouTube's terms of service being violated in a category that I am involved in and that the algorithm has been cracked by a wealthy few, leaving us who make honest, solid content based on our experience in the dust without recommendations 
the algorithm doesn't know we exist. Add to that the demographic location of where some channels are based. YouTube has no interest in promoting those channels because of cyber laws, which restrict YouTube to operate as freely as they would like. So YouTube, being the business they are, focus on demographic populations where they can operate with little to no restrictions when promoting their platform. It makes sense to me, but it is a double negative to a channel like mine. Anywho, I have so much more to say and would love to expand on this on a live stream. Have a rant with other Orchid channels on panel and get any frustrations out that others may feel about what we see with these miracle Orchid growing videos. Get that out of our system. Or maybe I'm the only one that is frustrated by these operations. Hmm, desperation leads to frustration. Dunno, could be. You tell me in the comments what you feel, what you think. I'm open to any kind of opinion you may have about what I'm saying here today. It's possible that I am the only one that is frustrated, but I wouldn't know. So if you have an orchid channel or if you're growing orchids without an orchid channel, but you see these videos come into your recommendations and can't stand seeing them, let me know in the comments if you would be interested to join a live stream on panel and let's have a rant together a good gossip and clear the air. Maybe we'll feel a little bit better afterwards. Even if it doesn't make a channel perform better afterwards either, at least we can have some fun looking at videos under the fair use guidelines of YouTube, debunk them together and blow off some steam for lack of a better term. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm telling you, this is so annoying. <laughs> oh, but I am looking forward to hearing from you. And thank you so much for listening. I so appreciate you for putting up with this video. I hope that it was of some use. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Again, let me know in the comments and perhaps we can get together on a live stream. As far as I'm concerned, that would be awesome. Even if you disagree, this is not an echo chamber. I just want to have a discussion on it. Maybe even two or three. Who knows what it's going to take? I don't mind. I just want to get it out there and see if anybody else does as well. In the meantime, have yourself a fabulous day. On that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye. And now, let's delete. Oh, this is going to feel so good. <laughs> oh, and block. Yes. There's going to be a lot of blocking. Woohoo!